Today we'll go over how to float on your back, how to get up from floating on your back, and common mistakes and how to avoid them. It's always better to have somebody in the water with you, but if you are trying this by yourself, stay in the shallow water and close to the wall. Step one, position yourself close to the surface. Bend your knees, get your shoulders wet. The closer you are to the surface, the less your body is going to submerge after laying down. Step two, take a big breath. It helps to add that buoyancy and it makes it a lot easier to float. Step three, we're going to tilt your head back, putting your ears in the water. The water line is going to be in the middle of your head. Step four, we're going to put our arms up closer to our head. So that's going to help to distribute the weight and shift that center of your body to get those legs up. Step five, we're going to keep leaning back in this position until your feet are coming off the ground. You can also gently push off. Step six, float. We're going to make sure that all of your body parts are on the surface in a horizontal position. So your head is in the water, ears are in the water, eyes are looking straight up, your chest is up, your hips are up, your toes are on the surface. Step seven, we're going to get back up. Getting up can be tricky depending on your body type, but here's how to make it simpler. Bring your arms down in a powerful movement with your hands under the surface. Tuck your chin and bring your knees to your chest. If you take too long, your hips and your head may start going down. So when that happens, keep using your hands to bring your upper body to a vertical position and find the bottom of the pool with at least one foot. All bodies float differently, but before you give up, ask somebody to take a video of you floating and check if you're not making any of the following mistakes. Mistake number one, the wrong starting position. So starting from a standing position, having your shoulders way too far from the water surface. If you start like that, your face will go underwater. So instead, get closer to the surface, fly back gently, and your face will stay above the water. Mistake number two, keeping your arms by your hips. So in this scenario, your legs are definitely going to start going down because the center of your body is too low. So instead, shift your arms up. That's going to help you distribute that weight and keep you more balanced. Mistake number three, keeping your knees tucked in and hips down. Try to be a straight line on the surface, straight legs, get those hips up, arch your back if you have to. Mistake number four, not filling your lungs with air. Air helps you float. Take deep and calm breaths. They will help you stay afloat. And if you breathe out all your air, you're definitely going to go down. Mistake number five, being too tense. Tension in your muscles can make you sink. So we're going to try to relax as much as possible, trying to take those deep and calm breaths, imagining like you're laying on the beach. If you are still scared a little bit of that, get a noodle, place it under your lower back, or hug a kickboard and try to practice that way. Mistake number six, tucking your chin in too much or taking your head out of the water a little bit too high. To stay afloat for longer than five seconds, we have to be a super straight line. That means everything in line with your spine. Keep your head in the neutral position, tilt it back a little bit. Again, eyes are looking straight up at the ceiling. Mistake number seven, sinking legs. The most common problem and it's usually a result of some other mistakes. So for this one, you're going to check three things. First, are your arms down? Shift them up closer to your head to distribute the weight. Do you have to look like a starfish? Second, is your chin tucked in? Your head has to be neutral to your spine, looking straight up, keeping your ears in the water. And did you take too small of a breath? Try to fill up your lungs to 100%. Be as tall as you can in the water. Push your belly up and arch your back if you have to. If you're struggling, use the pool noodle. Use those flotation devices to help you relax because the more comfortable you get, the easier all the components get. And if it's not working the first time you try it, that's okay. You didn't walk the first time you tried it either. So just keep practicing. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you want to learn how to float on your front, click this video next. Comment down below what mistakes you're currently working on fixing. And I'm going to see you in the next one.